Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, if it is your first time here. Today we are going to be doing a swatch party of the Musée Beauty Le Jardin palette. I'm absolutely 100% sure that I just said that wrong. But you know what, I tried my best and quite honestly I think that's all that matters. On my nails today we have Lights Lacquer Cherry Jelly Nail Polish, one of my favorite red polishes of all time. But that is not the point in this video. Today we are going to be swatching this palette. This is a newer palette to my collection and my first time trying the Musée Beauty formula and so far I think it is really really nice. There is one shade in this palette that does not perform as great as the other ones but we'll talk about that when we get to it. This is what it looks like on the inside and it's such a cute perfect little color sword for spring and I just am really happy with the purchase of this palette. It was kind of a impulse buy and I don't regret it at all. I think it is really 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 pretty. So let's just jump right into the swatches. So we have the first three shades here. We have Dahlia, Peony, and Lavender. So this very first shade is actually the one shade that did not perform as well as I wanted it to. As you can see it's like a sequin shade so it's a matte with a bunch of loose glitters in it and for some reason this one seems to be so much harder pressed than all the rest of them. I did a look using this shade and it was almost difficult to apply to the eye and swatched out it actually looks really nice but it was very hard to pick up on the brush so I was a little bit disappointed in this shade and since this was the very first shade that I ever used from this palette it kind of scared me to try the rest of it because I thought that they were all gonna perform like this but I am happy to report that they do not. The next shade that we have here is this shimmer pink called Peony. Peonies are my favorite flowers. BTW they're going to be in my wedding I believe unless something changes <laughs> but this is a really 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 nice shimmer formula i think it is actually so pretty the shimmers in this palette are actually a bit more frosty than i thought that they were going to be it's like they have like this silver reflect to them and it's a pretty strong silver reflect you can really see it over the part of the swatch that's on my tattoo you can see that it just reflects more cool tone than it does warm tone then we have this matte purple shade, which is very fittingly named Lavender. This is a true lavender matte, in my opinion. Then we have the next three shades. We have the shade Begonia, which is a shimmer red with a silver shift, a matte kind of grassy green shade called Sorrel, I believe. And then we have the shade Violet, which again is a shimmer purple. First up here we have Begonia. This is probably my favorite shade from this palette. I feel like this shade is super, super unique to my eyeshadow collection. Like I cannot think of another eyeshadow that looks like this out of all 700 something eyeshadows that I have throughout all my palettes. And then we have this matte green and blended out this definitely looks a little bit more pastel on the eyes and it's swatching a little bit more sheer but it actually performs really beautifully and then we have that shimmer purple called violet and this is such a pretty color story goodness i love that purple so much i love all these shades they're all just so stunning and then we have the last three shades this first one here is called carnation and it is like this red burnty what did I just say? <laughs> this ready burnt orange shade. We have the shade Basil, which is a green shimmer with a silver reflect, and then the shade Aster, which is this matte purple. So first we have Carnation, and then we have the shade Basil. I love Basil, the shade and actual Basil, but the shade is seriously so pretty. I just can't get over how interesting I think that the silver reflect is in all of these. And then we have the shade Aster, which as you can see, compared to Lavender, it is a bit more warm toned and it is basically just a matte version of Violet, but I think that all three of these work really well together and make a really interesting eye look. I'm pretty sure I did an all purple eye using those three shades and it turned out really really pretty. I definitely have used all the shades in this 
palette but I can't remember like what combination I used them in but I'm like 80% sure that I did an all purple look so this is that entire palette swatched out I just I love this color story I think it is so unbelievably beautiful for spring and that is what the brand decided this is their spring palette and I think it is just stunning as i said before this was my first time using the muse beauty formula and it definitely exceeded all my expectations the one shade that i don't even want to call it a dud because i don't think it's a dud it just didn't perform as well compared to the other mattes in this palette is this shade right here called dahlia and i do just want to point out the shade aster which is this one down here is actually a sequin shadow as well i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it does have some reflect in it down here and obviously the glitter particles aren't as big in the shade Aster as they are in Dahlia but I just think that comparing these two shades which are both the sequin formula you know a matte with glitter particles in it this one just works so much better than Dahlia and Dahlia almost feels like it's hard panned which it's not like you can see there's no hard pan in it but it has that same hardness that hard pan has so it's just a strange shade i don't know if they used like two different formulas for these two shades they must have because they just perform completely differently so that is it for this swatch party with the musee beauty le jardin palette i love it so much i definitely cannot wait to use it more and more as we get deeper and deeper into spring which is one of my favorite seasons and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and we'll give it a thumbs up before you go and maybe even subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye